Hello, boys and girls. It's your boy, Dave Ashley. Back with another bit of a channel. I hope you're having a great day, wherever you are, wherever you're watching this video from. I hope you're having an amazing day, people. Welcome back to this channel, boy. Dedicated to this channel is our one, our only, our love for South End United. And today, we are not short of action, people. As you can see behind me, there she is, the girl, Roots Hall, there, the home of today's venue for South End versus Dagman Revenge. Some call it a derby, some just call it a natural game. Me, I'm undecided. I'm a bit in the middle of both. But boys and girls, leave your thoughts down below. Is this a derby game or is this just simply another game in the league? But going into this today, Blues on an incredible run. Coming into this, six undefeated games. Three wins, three draws on the top line. Tuesday night against Wilston, a 1-1 draw. Could have been a 1-0 loss. Could have been a 2-1 win. Could have gone either way. But we continued our fine form. Dagenham are always a team to come here and cause an upset, cause an issue. And today, there'll be no short of trouble and upset, boys. But let's get into that whole cover. Boys, it is a massive game today here at Roots Hall versus Dagenham. What do we think the score is going to be, matey? I, I, think, I think South Bend's going to win 2-0 and Dagenham's going to score 1. Beautiful. Jack? I think we're going to win 3-1. Frankie? 2-0 to South Bend. On your home debut, I love that. Can I get a big up the blues today? Up the blues! Up the blues! Up the blues! Right, ladies and gentlemen, it's not every day you get two gorgeous fellows in a camera, or even one even more better looking than me, Tom Lawrence, CEO of South and United, final member, or maybe even more, of the consortium here today. How are you feeling ahead of a big day at Roots Hall? Yeah, looking forward to it. It's going to be a uh, pack Roots Hall today. We should be okay. Um, Line-up looks good and uh, raring to go. Beautiful stuff. And obviously, yesterday, a new deal announced with Macron. Yeah, Macron have been a brilliant commercial partner for us. Uh, they've had some issues around stock levels and the variety of items in the uh, in the shop. We've addressed that. Um, I mean, part of the problem has been we've been in a pretty precarious position, so they've not wanted to invest too much. But we've uh, got past all that. The shop's looking good. It's full of stock now. Yes. I encourage everybody <laughs> to get down there and uh, buy some bits and bobs. Are we going to look? Are we looking forward to some good new season shirts? They're going to be as good as this one, do we think? No, any I, think I think they look very good. They're actually gone into production already, uh, so they'll be uh, with us um, back end of July. Beautiful stuff, Tom. And just finally, before we go, I'm going to try and manage to get all the consortium members to do this. It's a little test. Five seconds to name three items. Can you tell me about this. Uh, no, I didn't. Hit we me we with kept it. Hit me with it so, in five seconds, Tom Lawrence, I would like you to name three South United players who are not English. Your time starts now. Oh, come on, that's not fair. Cut that bit. Cut <laughs> that. Oh, he's out. He's out. Cut that bit. <laughs> Finally, Tom Lawrence, as I get everyone to do on this channel, can I get a massive Up The Blues for today's game? Up The Blues! Yes! Yeah, so it's, uh, yeah. I'm taking full advantage of this while you... Oh my 
my God, he saved that. He has saved that. Go on, keep going. Half time here at Rootsall, 1 0 down to Dagenham. But that's not really a telling tale of this half. It could be 2 0, it could be 3, it could be 4. We have been shocking. We're in disarray ever since that early Dagenham goal. We have not looked ourselves. We're in all over the place. Dagenham have been all over us, high pressing us, forcing us to make mistakes. And what are we doing going forward? Bridge at first, slowing down, not crossing. In recent weeks, he's been so direct with his crosses. Runs at the man, gets the ball in. Today, stepped off it. Fans were getting on his back. And you saw, as soon as he heard that, straight away, he was sending them balls back in. But Waldron's not having an impact. Cardwell is heavily marked. It has not been our standard of half at all. We need a big performance going that second half. Darren Curry, obviously, on the touchline today for no Kevin Mayer. He needs to go in half time. He needs to rally the troops and get a vocal cry to go out there and take control of our home. Come on. <laughs>
right then all back at the car now full time here in south end one one between dagnum and the blues and to be fair boys that game was really a game of two halves. Now, first half, I don't even want, really want to talk about it because I'm going to say those dreaded words. Dagnum were the better side. They should have gone in 1-0 up, maybe even 2-3. It could have been endless, their goals in the first half. But I don't know what was said at half-time. I'm just going to say that my half-time team talk must have inspired something because Blues came out in that second half and... Boy, they did not let up. Early goal, exactly what we needed. Kept the pressure on, limited Dagnum. If that game had gone on for another 10, 15 minutes, we might have had another goal to celebrate. But chances against the bar, their keeper forced into making saves. It was a better display. But is the point good enough? You, you have to take the point, I suppose. It is now seven unbeaten off the top of my head. I think it's seven unbeaten going into Tuesday night versus Dawkins, who I believe lost today and are right down fighting in that relegation zone. It does set up Tuesday nicely, but a win would have been so much sweeter after Tuesday night's 1-1 draw and today another draw. We need a win badly and hopefully Tuesday night it is going to come. But boys and girls, ooh, I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope you've all enjoyed this video as much as you can. If you have, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff down below. My name is Ben Diversity and it goes pay. Peace.